Good morning. I'd like to welcome you this morning into God's house. What a beautiful weekend we've had. Uh, I would especially like to invite, welcome those of you who are visiting for the first time. You are a welcome guest today. Please read your bulletin. It's full of information of what's going on in our church. Please fill out the black books at the aisle end of each pew and pass those down. Our scripture today is from 1 Peter 4, 12 through 19. If you would please stand for the reading of God's word. Dear friends, do not be surprised at the painful trial you are suffering as though something strange were happening to you. But rejoice that you participate in the sufferings of Christ so that you may be overjoyed when his glory is revealed. If you are insulted because of the name of Christ, you are blessed, for the spirit of glory and of God rests on you. If you suffer, it should not be as a murderer or a thief or any other kind of criminal, but even as a meddler. However, if you suffer as a Christian, do not be ashamed, but praise God that you bear that name. For it is time for judgment to begin with the family of God. And if it begins with us, what will the outcome be for those who do not obey the gospel of God? And if it is hard for us to obey the gospel of God, it is righteous to be saved what will become of the ungodly and the sinner. So then those who suffer according to God's will should commit themselves to their faithful creator and continue to do good. May we all be blessed by the reading of God's word. Good morning. Good morning. Let us continue our worship in song and let us sing, Lord, I lift your name on high. opportunity to be in your house, to worship you, to praise you, to, to love you, to, to share with you the, the blessings of life. Father, we pray that your, your Holy Spirit would, would teach us to help us to be all that we can be for the kingdom of God. Father, for the 
people who are not with us today, we ask for your, your blessings and your tender loving care for them, and may they realize that they are, they are missed in your house, and may your Holy Spirit just minister to their hearts and their, their every need. And Father, for those who are, who are here, we pray that we would focus on you, focus on your, your Holy Spirit, focus on your word for this hour. Help us, Heavenly Father, to discover you in a new and, and fresh way. And may your, your presence here with us enable us to draw closer to thee. And now, Heavenly Father, we ask you to use this time. Help us to use it wisely. Help us to, to develop our ministry tools for you. For I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. As our children come forward, would you turn and welcome and greet each other with a special Holy Ghost.